Hello folks, welcome back to some more PGA Tour 2K23 and of course we're going to be playing today is Chiang Mai Black by Heisenberg Now there's two versions out there, you've got Chiang Mai Thailand and Chiang Mai Black I think Black's the hardest one, it's a little bit longer and let's jump in and have a look Now if you haven't played any of Heisenberg's courses, absolutely fantastic designer He's got quite a few RCRs out there as well uh, Australian ones, what was it? Peninsula Kingswood uh, Royal Melbourne, two of the ones that I remember. But I also done a course. Um, oh, look at this! Forgot all about these. This, this sort of rice paddy fields here. Kinds of. I think I said this in the other video as well when I played one of them back in two K twenty one. Kind of reminds me of Rambo. Uh, was it Rambo five or something? The last one, any? Was it the last? One? No, the one before that. The one was either Thailand or Korea. The sort of paddy fields where. He, sort of obliterates the, the Korean or well, Thailand army or whatever it is with the, the 50 cal on the back of the <laughs> the back of the um, the Jeep. Tell you what, let's look at the, the plot here. Now it's still on Master Swing. And I tell you what, I've actually put one of them golf balls on. Because I had a little jump in here earlier and the green speeds were 178. Now I've got a few of the legendary ones. So I've put one of them on and I want to see if it changes the green speeds. A lot of people are, because I've never used them. I've never used the bloody golf balls at all. So I'm going to, I've stuck one of the legendary ones on and I want to see what the green speeds are with this legendary golf ball on. Look at that. We've got a couple of nice waterfalls there. I think that green there will be the green that I take a screenshot for. Well, like I said before, I'm not going to spend as much time as what I did on 2K21 and that is like running around the course because sometimes I can take like 10 minutes of that just running around. Like, especially like an Arctic Fury course, you do have to take a good look around that just the amount of stuff that he's got in there. Looks like we've got a lot of elevation changes here. And you've got the little rowing boats here, but what he's done, if you look, look great from a distance. Looks like the little sort of Asian boats that you see with the, the little sort of roof canopies and that on them. And if I remember right, you've got the, the old huts and all that up on the hillside there as well. Look at that. Very, very nice. So we've got quite a bit of water on here. We've got quite a lot of elevation changes. So it's kind of throwing everything at you. And like I said, I jumped on this this afternoon. I was going through some of the courses that I've played before and I want to try and get on the channel because, again, I want to say thanks before we go any further, guys. I just want to say thanks for the support that you've given me. Absolutely fantastic. You guys make it all worth it just doing these videos. Got a lot of new subscribers, got a lot of new people playing the game. And as I said before, a lot of these guys haven't seen these types of courses. So I'm going to play some of the courses that I've played before on the channel. Uh, for the new subscribers and the new players to the game just to give them a look at what these designers sort of came out with the people like Arctic Fury, um, Heisenberg, Victory Lane Sports, uh, Mayo um, you, you guys know there's so many great designers out there B101 all these guys who do absolutely fantastic courses so if you're a long time subscriber you've probably seen quite a few of these courses that i'm going to be playing over the next sort of few weeks just to give these sort of new guys new subscribers new players a look at some of the courses that are out there and going through some of the comments yesterday some of them were saying how do you find these courses and all that as well so yeah absolutely fantastic right i think we've had a a little look around what's this up here little Little hut up here, nice little bridge that he's sort of built there as well. Little rickety bridge there, look at that. Looks a bit dodgy. You got a little sort of hut thing there as well. Right, let's jump onto the course. Oh, nine mile an hour wind. What have we got? Oh, we're still on master swing. Right, puff four, 500 yards, 83 feet down. I think we're probably gonna be better over this side. Right, let's get this started. It's not bad for a first drive. But you know me, it's the pitch shots that are gonna kill me. If you watched my video yesterday. <laughs> oh, that was that was terrible, that 11th hole. Oh my goodness. 
Oh, 385 yards off the tee. Plumbing heck. That only leaves... Oh, talking about pitch shots. Here we go. Now, I need to remember... I need to try and hit them a little bit slower. Do you know what? I should have jumped on the blooming... Should we call it driving range just to practice? But let's see if we can get this. Oh, that's not bad, actually. A little bit on the slow side, but better than yesterday's. Right. These greens were 178 earlier. I want to see what they are now. I'm sure I put a golf ball on. Oh, what's that going? Still bloody rolling, though. No? Come on, stop, stop, stop. 156. Wow. That is a hell of a lot. What's that, 22? They were on 178. I haven't changed the green speeds. All I've done was put on a golf ball. That's ridiculous. That's crazy. So if you're playing in a society, or you're playing on TGC Tours, if you're playing with a common golf ball, and the green speeds are above, say, 155, you're screwed. If they're on 170, 180, or whatever, uh, 178, these greens were on this afternoon when I played that. And with these common golf balls, it was so hard to stop the bloody ball in the green. And that's just knocked it down to 156. That's a big difference. Right. And this is the first time I've played with one of these golf balls. I just usually use the, the common golf ball all the time. Right, par four, 361, 57 feet up. Let's see if we can hit another nice one here. Oh, bit of a slow. It's going to still be on the fairway, though. Unless it kicks. That's all right. Nice little flat spot there as well. Well, kind of. Right, what have we got? 73, 17 feet up. So that is playing. Do, 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 do. About 79. Um, 81. Let's put a tiny little bit of loft on that. Oh, pitch shot. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, I'm tr purposely trying to slow my swing down with these pitch shots because of yesterday, because I was hitting everything very fast. Wow. And these are 156 and they're still rolling quite a bit. Oh, mind you, I must have hit the top of that slope there. That's probably why. Right, let's have a look. A little bit of right to left, a little bit of left to right, a little bit of right to left. So we're going to go a little bit right to left. <laughs> oh, that's a bad bloody swing. Oh, that's turning in nice. You try and remember, just straight back, straight forward. That's better. Okay, third hole, par three, 222, 45 down. Oh, I hate doing maths. What's that? Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. 45. Um, right, what we got here? I think... I'm going to actually... Yeah, it should be all right just going straight at it from there. No, I'm going to bring it in a little bit from the right-hand side here. Oh, massive slow. That's going to stay way out there. Bloody hell. That was terrible. <laughs> right, little pitch shot. Here we go. Come on. That's a bit better. We're getting a bit better. Oh, that's going off the back of the green now. Right, little chip shot. Come on. Go. Oh, it's for a bogey. That takes us back down to evens. Okay, par four, fourth hole, 345, four feet up. 
345. Oh, look at this. We could get on that green from here. If I hit a nice one. All right, come on. Oh, damn it. Oh, at least get up there. Yep, that's, that's okay. I'll take that. Don't go too far down, though. Sugar. <laughs> oh, let's have a look. That's all right. Should be okay. Let's put it way past the hole. Put a little bit of loft on it. Just to try and make sure we get it up there. But I don't know if I'm actually... Let me have a look at this. I may actually end a bit... Oh, I'm in the thick stuff. Look. So that is going to play a part of it as well. All right, come on. Let's change that camera so I can see the swing. There we go. That's not too bad. Okay, for the birdie. Come on, let's get this. Oh, again, I pushed it a little bit to the right there with my, um, my, my swing. Okay, here we go. Par five, 5.47, 78 feet up. Just have a nice, ooh, could go this side. Yeah, we'll just stick to this side, I think. All right, come on, let's see if we hit a nice one here. Oh, that's good. 102%. Just left of the perfect. That's going to be right up there on the fairway. Nice. 336 yards off the tee, uphill. Beautiful. Right, 28 feet up. That should be, yeah, it should be okay, especially with that wind. Yep, a little bit fast as well, 102%. It's going to hit that back sort of slope here and hopefully come back down towards the, the hole. Nice. Come on, keep going. Oh, look at that. Little tappy tap for a birdie. Oh, for an eagle. <laughs> Get in there. Nice, minus two. Okay, six hole, par four. What have we got? 537, 79 feet down. All right, I'm going to come over this side, actually. It's just a better angle into the green. Oh, nice. If it hits the rough, it's going to bounce back out. As you will see here. Lovely. Oh, don't go too far. Don't go too far. Oh, oh. In the thick stuff. Can we reach the green? 72, 8%, 39 down. So that is 188, I think. Yes, yeah, so let's. I think I'm going to have to go up three clubs here. Not a bad lie, though. Let's try that. It's going to be down there. That's going to that's going to bounce off. Lovely that. Go on. Oh, the neck. Big kick though. That's going to leave us. Oh, I don't even know if that might actually go off the back of the green here. Ah, uh, yes, it's gone. I tell you what, for 156 greens, they're still playing pretty fast. I don't think they've got the calculations right, to be honest. Right, little chip shot. I don't know where the chip this will go for a pitch shot, actually. Ah, we'll just stick with a little chip shot here. Right, slow down. Stop. Yeah, that'll do. We should get the, the par here, hopefully. Nice. I was actually going to go three click swing. I should have actually, because I want to sort of keep my hand on both of them, if you know what I mean. The three click swing and the, the stick swing. Just maybe sort of um, swap them over every few rounds. Okay, well, we've got 228, nine feet down. So it's 225, 243 with a five wood. Oh. 
I think we're going to have to go with the firewood, but bring it back a touch. Maybe put a bit of loft on it as well. Bit of a fast. Just going to pull it way over to the left. Don't know if that's going to hold, though. It's a little bit of slope at the back there. Oh, almost. So that's going to leave us a little chip shot. And we should be able to pick up the par from there. Oh, I started watching season three of Yellowstone last night. Oh my God, that what a, what a bloody program that is. My favorite program on the TV. Kevin Costner, always thought he was a brilliant actor. If you haven't watched Yellowstone, you should give it a watch. And I tell you what, the, the, the cinematography of where he is, Montana. Oh, absolutely beautiful, it really is. But I'm just gonna drop down to the three wood here. Maybe even the five wood, to be honest. So I think with the driver there, you've got a little bit of danger, especially the, the amount of slope you've got on that fairway there. Look at that. If I hit a little bit of a fast there, that's going to be in the, the thick stuff. So we're going to drop it down. Right, the winds went up to nine mile an hour, so we should be good just going with the three wood. That'll do it. That's a beautiful, beautiful hole this is. Look at that. Was that one, two, three, four, five, six waterfalls I can see there. <laughs> That's a lot of waterfalls. Right, let's just go straight in here. Nice, perfect as well. Go on. Get up, go, go, go. Nice. It's going to set us up lovely for the birdie. Oh, I thought I'd missed that. I was about to call myself a Muppet. Okay, ninth hole, par four, 457, four feet down. Right. Bit tight up here with this wind. I'm going to have to get right through that little section. I don't know whether I just did drop this button. I'll tell you what, let's just smack one. Go for it. That should be okay, actually. It should actually kick a little bit to the right here. Oh, kicked quite a bit. Go on, get past there. Yes, nice. Quite lucky with that little bounce we had there. Look at that, 377 off the tee. Wow. I was watching CJ Cup earlier, and Rory's averaging 320 off the tee today. He was playing really well. But so was John Ram, and I think it was Kitty Yama was just right behind him as well. Right. Yep, I'm getting better at the pitch shots. I've purposely tried to slow my swing down on the pitch. It's weird though, because I remember the designers always said, it doesn't matter whether you've got a pitch shot, you're driving, uh, your iron shots, your wood shots, the tempo should always be the same speed. But yesterday, with them pitch shots, it was nowhere near the same bloody speed. So I think they've changed that for 2K23. Go on. Yes. Because I had to really slow my swing down on them pitch shots. I don't know if you have found out the same. Especially on master swing. Pro swing, a little bit different. Right, we've got here par four. Uh, 468, 35 feet up. Should we play over this side? Yeah, I think we should. We clear that. Oh, I don't know, you know. I don't know whether I just bump that down with a three wouldn't play down here. Ah, what the hell. Let's just smack one. There we go. Yeah, that's what we, should work out all right. If it slows down. A little bit of a slope there. It's going to help. Nice. Okay, 348 uphill as well. Look at that. Let's bring that back just a touch. We're going in there with a normal lob wedge. Ooh, 137, 12 feet up. So that's playing 141. So I think I'm going to have to go this. Put a little bit of loft on it. Oh, a bit of a fast. Oh, shit. 
I mean, crap, that's going to bounce right down into the thick stuff. Stop, stop. Oh, it's not bad. Got away with it there, I think. Definitely got away with that. Okay, little chip shot. Get up there. Ooh, very fast. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, I think we're going to be pulling up a bogey here if we don't get this in. Oh, again, very fast. <laughs> That's what I was doing yesterday with the pitch shots. Bogey! What does that take us down to? Minus three. That's still not bad, Master Swing. Oh, here we go, the 11th. This is where it all went. Pete Tong yesterday. Right, come on. Oh, what a drive. 102%. Almost perfect. Lovely. Going to be on quite a bit of a slope, though, from here right to left. Right, 18 feet down, so that's playing 167. Oh, another. Perfect. I actually hit more perfects on Master Settings in 2K23 than what I did in 2K21 on Pro. <laughs> Alright, come on. Oh, it's going to turn. Oh, so close. But not close enough. Okay, take the par there. Look at that backdrop. That's stunning. Oh, I thought that was a par. It's not, it was a bogey. Oh, it was a par five. See, so yeah, I just don't concentrate. I just don't think what I'm doing. Oh, we're on the green here. 72 feet down. That's what? 20, 24... That's 83, 283. Gonna have to go with the driver, but pull it right back, I think. Pull it back to about here. Oh, this, this, this could be dodgy. Come on. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, come on. Bounce off of there. Go on. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Oh, not that far though, bloody hell. Oh, in that thick stuff there, I was just watching my OBS and it kind of sort of lagged out a little bit there. It's weird before, uh, I've said this before as well, um, I play this in 4K but record it at 1440p and me with a 99, a 32 gigs of RAM and a 3080, it's very smooth for me yeah on sometimes on my um, OBS it's, it's it gets a little bit framey oh look at this what the hell look at the state of that the ball's bloody defying gravity there <laughs> what's the lie 70 73 percent right oh chip I don't want to bloody chip off of there, do I? Let's try a pitch. Yeah, let's try that. Oh, I don't know how far left this is going to go, so I'm going to aim this way over to the right. Can't hardly even see him. Look at me. Oh, that's worked out. I was going to say that worked out not too bad, but... It's just went off the back of the other side of the green now. But we're still there for a birdie. Come on. Go. Yes, we get it. And that was a very fast as well. So I should have pushed that way over to the left, I think. So what's that put us on now? Come on, get out of there. Minus five through 12. Okay, 13th hole over the water. Here we go. 176, 14 up, so that's playing around right about 181. Then you've got that wind on top. Yeah, should be good. Come on. Oh shit, oh crap. 
Oh, don't bounce in the water, please. Excuse my French. Right. 28, 12 feet up. I'm not going with a pitch. Uh, chip shot. Screw that. Let's go with a pitch. Right, we've got 71 to 79%. Plane 32. Let's put it about there, I reckon. A little bit of loft on it as well. Massive slope we're on as well, though. Oh, a little bit too hard. Come on, we need to get this. Oh, it's coming back. Come on. It's speeding up. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. <laughs> nice. We should pick up the par. Uh-oh, I hit that too hard. Oh, bloody hell. That was close. Right. 14th hole, part four. Oh, look at all my... My skills up there, all lit up. <laughs> right, I'm gonna bring this in from the right hand side here. Try and make sure I stay away from that right up there. Oh, bloody hell. That's gonna bounce off of there. Nice. Oh no, come on, go on. Yep, there we go. That'll do. That was lucky. That was a terrible shot though. Oof. I'm going to have to go in here with a three wood. Oh, look at that driver. 83, 84%. Ho, oh, ho, ho. Should I? Should I? Oh, that might make it, you know. Oh, no, we hit it fast. Oh, that's going to be... That's a skimmer. Keep going, keep going. Quite far up there. Yeah, I should have just went with the three wood. But gotta try these things, I think. Yeah, my pitching is a lot better now. I think it just caught me off guard on that one hole. Oh, where are you going? I was trying the same shot like three or four times and it just wasn't working. I was just hitting them way too fast. Uh-oh. We're going to end up with a bogey here unless I can pull off a cracking putt. Come on. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, hit a little bit too short. That was pretty well on target there as well. So take a bogey, we'll drop down to minus four. What we'll hole we on? 15. So if we can keep this up, we're gonna have a quite a nice round though. Uh three wood, no nope, driver, we'll just smack it up there. Lovely. There's one thing as well, I was going through my, my replays yesterday. And if you see the hole in one that I've got, yeah. Well, I took that off of the like the video that I did, and I just recorded it off the video I did. But I went through my replays yesterday, and there's two of them for that hole in one. I don't know why there's two of them on my replay, but they actually missed the hole by about five feet. One five feet to the left, and one five feet to the right. And yet, it's a bloody replay of a hole in one. I was like, what the hell? All right. Oh, that is a lot better. Oh, but look at that swing. Nasty. Oh, that turned out all right, though. Okay, come on. Let's get this birdie. Lovely. Takes us back up to, what, minus five. So, we've had a good... Sort of few... We've had an eagle, we've had a few birdies, but a couple of bogeys. We're doing not bad, actually. What's this? 80 feet down, six mile an hour. I uh, think we're going to make that, you know. Let's go for it. Oh, kaboom. Get in there. Or should I say whoosh? <laughs> oh, it's on the green. 
Oh, I was kind of hoping that was going to bounce a little bit to the left there. Oh, and there's a slope there. It's going to hold. Might actually come back a little. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. Oh, you son of a... so close do you know i tried to hit that slow there and i still hit it very fast but we get the birdie nice okay 17th par 3 uphill 25 feet up should be good just for that going with that with the wind to be honest lovely oh look at that Heart went a little flutter there <laughs> and a little bit of a, a toe curler as well oh come on ball ah, I should put a little bit of loft on it oh that's going to be to the right and a little bit pacey as well come on stop 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 Get in. Oh, damn it. Bogey. That's going to drop us back down. To minus five. Okay, 18th hole. Par five, though. Nice. Seven mile an hour wind going with us here. All right, come on. Quite a bit of a slope left to right. This is going to, this is going to go quite a distance. If I hit a nice one, that is. Oh, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. Looks like it's getting a little bit dark. Oh, I'll tell you what, we had a storm earlier. It's what, what's time now? It's now 10 o'clock here. It's about 7 o'clock. We had a storm where I am. Wow, bloody hell, see the lightning. It was like sheet lightning. Mental it was. Right, what have we got? 219, 32 up, so it's playing what? 229, 215 with a 5 iron, 218 with a hybrid. Oh, let's go with a hybrid, I think. Come on. Shit. I mean, crap. I knew that straight away as soon as I swung. I thought to myself, that's way too bloody fast. Right, little pitch out of here. Come on. Or should I say, little splash. We still might come away with the birdie here, hopefully. Come on. Right, what have we got? Three inches down. Oh, it's turning a little bit straight off the bat there. See that? Oh, that's nice. Get in now. Yeah, little beauty. So there we go. We finished at minus six. What's that? One, two, three, four bogeys as well. If we didn't get them bogeys, we'd have had minus ten there. But hey, c'est la vie. So there you go, guys. That is a Shang Mai a Black. As I said, there's two versions out there. I do think Shang Mai Thailand, the green speeds are probably going to be a little bit slower. But you can always go into the settings and change them yourselves anyway, because if you're playing with a common golf ball, the green speeds are going to be 178, and the ball is, you're going to find it very hard to stop on, on the greens. Now right, let's see what I've got for that. Ah, a fitting. And some of that, just some money. So again, guys, thank you for watching. I will catch you again next time. And don't forget, stay safe.